Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. Mustafa Aoudou, a prominent member of the APC and a staunch supporter of Bola Tinubu, has stated that part of his principal achievement in Lagos State was the empowerment of thugs and Agbero. Aoudou explained this on, on, on the news while discussing how Bola Tinubu has impacted people's lives. Addressing the topic, Aoudou said, I believe that Bola Tinubu is an extremely intelligent man who knows that in order to succeed, you have to empower a tremendous number of people for you to succeed. He has impacted the vice president, current ministers and even governors at the top level. He added, a lot of people at the middle level, like market women, have tremendously benefited from him. In the lower class, when Tinubu took over Lagos State as governor, he created LASMA to empower people who were supposedly thugs and abero to become better members of the society. Well, <laughs> this is so funny. I know uh, there's going to be a report that the man is quoted out of context. But the truth is, that is exactly the way it is. He has also said it the way it is. Yes, um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a man that people respect because he's not an uh, it alone man. It is it a it man and who makes sure that it went around all sectors. You know, and uh, if, if you have followed the history of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, he's not a stingy uh, leader. He's the one who, who spread the kukuja, you know, who makes sure that he gets and every other person around him also satisfied to some extent so when he said uh, he made life better by creating last man to improve the life of Aburo and talks yeah he was right he was right presently presently Agboros in Lagos are authority on their own in fact they have so much power that they can do anything and go score free that is just it they can do anything and go score free because they eat and dine with the government, with, with, with people that are in power. In fact, they are also in power. That is it. So you cannot say this man is, uh, is uh, interpreted as mis uh, they, 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 are, they are misinterpreting him. The man meant every word he said. And that is exactly the way it is. If you live in Lagos, and you've been in Lagos since 1999 till now, the 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 Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu and his government, IPC, has empowered the the Agboros, which is popularly known as a, a, the, Lago, the the National Union of Road Transport Workers. Have been so much empowered that they can do anything and go score free. In fact, the 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 million match, the five million match organized in Lagos was organized by the head of Agbero, Emusu Oluomo. He was one who led the need with the governor of Lagos State. So the 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 politics of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a politics of spread the kukija. Let everybody have a taste of it. Let it reach the hands of everybody. That is the empowerment. Like for instance, when we talk about the empowerment of Agboro, the issue of National Union, uh, National Road Transport Workers in Lagos State, where they have issue with a national body, at the end of the day, the Lagos State government collided with MC Oluomo pulled out of the national body to strengthen the Lagos State chapter of uh, National Union of Road Transport Workers and make MC Oluomo, who happened to be head of Agberos, the commander-in-chief of Lagos Agberos. Now, this as is going from one quarter to another. And the truth is, that is one fear. That Nigerians are having. That if Bola Ahmed Tunubu happened to become the president of Nigeria, 
the corruption is going to be 10 times more than what we are expressing presently. And if care is not taken, the hardship and insecurity is going to be unbearable. Because why? People who naturally carry out these functions are being empowered by a government, by the, 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 the government of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I heard a lady say that um, why he will not vote for Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that if, he, if Abdul Ahmed Tinubu wins and becomes the president of Nigeria, that Agboros will begin to, to create a checking point. And you don't blame such people because we are seeing it everywhere here. We are seeing it here. Imagine a presidential uh, uh, governorship campaign rally in Lagos State and a presidential campaign rally where these talks begin to fight each other to the extent that they were shooting guns and stabbing each other. Up to date, no one has been brought to book. No one has been questioned. Why? Because the government has given them a soft landing. The government has given them a soft landing and they, they, they are so powerful that they are even more powerful than local government chairmen. That is the way they operate. And why is all this happening? Because they are machinery for election riggers. They are machinery to rig election and create electoral violence to win election. That is the reason you see these people. They're talking about improving of security and all that in Lagos State. Yes, a governor, a military administrator, uh, uh, Buba Marawa, was the one who did all that I can say he's the best governor I've ever known in Lagos State. When he was a military governor in Lagos State, a military administrator of Lagos State, there was nothing like Agbero. There was nothing like National Union of Road Transport Workers in Lagos State. He placed a ban on them and pulled them out of the road. Brought life and insanity to Lagosians until the day Tunubu took over as the governor of Lagos State. And that became the nightmare of Lagosians with dealings with Agberos. So, uh, with the happening now, uh, Nigeria should wise up. They should wise up. Improving their life for people, he said. <laughs> so, so now we know why last man is being created. Because if you if you look at the, the oppression of last man, and if you have ever been a victim of last man, then you know that indeed, these are talks and agbaros. That the government were trying to improve their life by giving them opportunity to make and to take advantage of the innocent Nigerians. Well, thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to comment below, let me know your take on this, and also subscribe to our channel for updates on this and more. Thank you.